women do not date out of their race enough and god please release my sisters from the shackle of only dating black men i feel like it's time for us to explore our options it's way more of life to see way more experience to have experiences to have hey guys welcome back to my channel so as per the title guys you can see in today's video we're going to be talking about this TikToker that I have seen popped up on my For You page on TikTok for a lot of time now. And this is the video that he made that I really wanted to come on here and bring to you guys. So he claimed that he's a dating coach for black and brown women. And so basically in this video, he was talking about the type of different white men that really, really loves to be with black women. And I do have to say, guys, given the fact that I do have a dust repellent and I am so proud of that, like these men don't approach me at all, guys. And I truly feel like it has a lot to do with the way that you tend to present yourself because unfortunately whenever you see the quote-unquote body aesthetic we already know that that is going to draw attention for one certain type of male right these are going to be the male that are the lowest hanging fruit they can't really afford a high value woman these are going to be the group of male that they want the most but want to invest the least and you guys already know who i'm talking about this is why oftentimes when i'm having discussion with my friend they will say it is very odd. Like whenever we're out, we're having brunch, we're having yours night. One of my friends made a comment to me. She said, it is where that dust sees. They oftentimes will just look, but they don't approach. And this is why I'm always telling her. It's because I have the dust repellent. Anyway, she thinks that is quite hilarious. But nonetheless, I, I truly feel like the way you carry yourself, the way you present yourself, it automatically is just going to disqualify these type of meal, which again, I am so happy about. I also feel like it has a lot to do with your body type because as someone who's very slender, I'm literally only 115 pounds. I'm very tall. I'm very skinny. So naturally, I told her these male, they like women that are overweight. These male like women that they don't how to compete for because unfortunately, these male know that by approaching certain type of woman, they know naturally because they are viewed as the standard for beauty, right? Because like I said, these type of male oftentimes, they will go and they will approach the woman that they feel like don't really get that lot of attention. And this is why it's going to be easy for them, right? This is why why you guys will consistently be hearing these male having the audacity to ask woman what's your body count and ladies whenever these male have the audacity to ask you all this question your rebuttal to that should be okay what is your bank account saying i mean if they want to be so personal asking you something that is so intimate and i don't see the issue with you asking them okay you want to ask me my body count what is your bank account Nonetheless, there's so much more I can say about that whole topic. But in this situation, I wanted to bring this video on here. So guys, look at this TikToker reacting to this other TikToker. See what he had to say about these type of different white men that likes black women. And then we will come back with more. Black women are scared to date white men. Let them cook. And I talk to them every day as a dating coach for black and brown women. And... It astonishes me because when you open up your net, you literally 7x your opportunity to find love. So in this video, That's I'm going to talk about the top five white guys that are checking for you black women so that you can feel safer swirling. <laughs> this is going to be now, so fun. Now, what we will not do is go for Mr. White Chocolate. Like if you want white chocolate, girl, get yourself a black man. You're this right. is it's basically You're the right. same thing. You're right. This guy is not on our list because everybody's going for him. So go ahead. If you want him, go ahead and get him. But I'm going to give you the five actual white guys that maybe not a lot of people are going for. Okay. So number one, you already Sorry. knew it was going to be gingers, girl. The gingers, and I don't even know if that's appropriate in 2023 to say or not. The redheaded men, honey, they're checking for you. The redheads are the blacks really? of the whites. <laughs> so when you see one red hair, girl, I want you to pounce on it because he's going to be checking for you. Really? You hear me? Jump. So the second group oh, of white man. guys oh, I, I want love you this to checking movie. for, and I'm going to put them in a category, but movie. obviously Italian men and Jewish men. 
these men are looking for partners, women to keep it real with them and to accept them and to hold it down. And um, obviously Italian men know what beauty looks like and that's why they're checking for black women. Okay. That's the okay. third type of white guy that are checking for black women are David artists. David? And I'm not talking about the struggling artists. Literally, the artists that are at the top of their game. So, Bowie, Wolfgang Puck, George Lucas, Joshua Wait. Jackson, Wait. Um, Robert De Niro. Okay. All artists that are killing it and can appreciate the amazingness of a black woman. Say word! The fourth white guy on my list are the dorky and nerdy guys. I love a nerd. Like Cameron love a nerd. from Love yeah. is Blind. Right. What do I love about these nerdy and dorky white guys Tell me. one their balance of masculine and feminine energy perfectly aligns with so many black women who have a good amount of both masculine and feminine energy like so this feminine. pairing actually works out really well okay. not to mention that you and i both know that the nerds be back and girl and the final and last group of white guys that are checking for black women are European men. This is Dirk Nowitzki. He is a German Just basketball European player, Asia. Hall of Famer. The Euro guys are checking for you. If you go to Europe, you're gonna 10X your chances of finding love. I Trust was and believe. Europe and that didn't uh, the Netherlands, Germany, England, Italy, oh. Croatia, Greece, all gonna look at you and think that you are a goddess. They're probably going to think that you're Beyonce, too. <laughs> you know, they do be doing it. Now, girl, if they have multiple categories, like Ed Sharon, girl, watch out. They're checking for you, and they're probably going to chase you down and want to get you, girl. This okay? is such a horrifying now, photo of comments. him. I, well, I hope that this alleviates any fears around who you should be going for when it comes to the white guys. Let me know in the comments. Has this been your experience? Have you experienced one of those these types, and have they been checking for you? I hope this was fun. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, like I said, I thoroughly agree with every single thing that he had to say because as someone who has been in this situation, as someone who literally has the dusty repellent, I can confirm indeed that this is indeed true. And literally every group of male that he mentioned and so much more in my situation, I can say that it has been true. So black woman this is precisely just like that beautiful goddess said at the beginning of this video i truly feel like for way too long us as black women we had put ourselves in this box we had put ourselves on shackle where unfortunately if it aren't the least hanging fruit of society unfortunately a lot of black women wouldn't even give them the time of day but black woman do y'all not know that by you going out here expanding your option being open to other group of male does you not know that this put you in such a better situation because for those of you guys that want that nuclear family for those of y'all ladies that want to be treated as the goddess that you are for those of you ladies that want to get literally the most out of life do you guys not know that by opening up your option to this other better group of male, they can do that for you. The group of male that unfortunately so much of black women are so infatuated with. For the most part, these men don't even like y'all and they have done a very good job by continuously coming out here and letting y'all know that y'all don't want them. And unfortunately, because from a very early age, we have been taught to be race loyal these male on the other hand we know that literally in comparison to every other group of male these are the one that go out here and they date out the most so in 2024 almost in 2025 black woman what excuse do you have now i mean these male have been showing us they have been telling us how you as a black woman you're literally their last option oftentimes they will come out here and they will tell y'all for a fact that the only reason why oftentimes they will even entertain y'all is because they feel that like y'all can uplift their life because you guys know i have been talking about this a lot lately i feel like the low hanging fruit like holly bailey baby daddy like kiki palmer baby daddy 
they got with these women not necessarily because these women were their first choice they got with these women because they know for a fact that these women can elevate their life because we already know i have been talking about these male being the biggest gold digger on this planet earth but there will be the same one out here having the audacity to open up their filthy mouth talking about you as a black woman you're a gold digger basically when you're just requesting the bare minimum from them and what is the bare minimum you having a job like the rest of us, you having a car, having a house to stay. But once again, these male feel like by you as a black woman requesting that, you're asking for way too much. Notice they won't open up their filthy mouth to even mention those words to these non-black women, to their preference. But nonetheless, black woman, listen to what this male have to say. Like I said, every single thing that he said about these type of men i truly think it is spot on i mean if this is something that you guys want to try if y'all haven't really tried it for my beautiful smart ladies out here i know that for the most part y'all that are on this channel y'all don't have an issue with this but i know it's still taking a lot of us slower to catch up right but nonetheless guys i would love to hear what you guys have to say about this dating coach coming out here saying these are the type of white men that if you as a black woman you're interested in going out here exploring your option once again i'm always gonna tell y'all the only regret you're gonna have is not doing this earlier but nonetheless guys this is all that i have to say on this whole situation i would love to hear what you guys have to say about this dating coach coming out here saying black woman what are you waiting on go out here explore your option enjoy everything that this beautiful life has to offer us what are your thoughts and opinion on please get in the comment section down below and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys black women it's time to hold ourselves accountable because we are reaping what we sowed we have lied and gassed black men up for centuries letting them think that they are kings with no kingdoms letting them think that they are the emperor when they are naked and now we are dealing with the consequences of those actions instead of being honest with black men and requiring them to do better for not only themselves but the community that they help create we have allowed them to tear it apart and then put it back together quietly behind their backs and then still let them get the credit for it.